Hi, I hope you are doing well today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marjorie. If you're not new here, my name is still Marjorie. And this is Marjorie Made, a channel mostly about cross stitch. Sometimes other things. Um, I'm coming to y'all three weeks after my last update. I think I might have to make my schedule every three weeks because I can't seem to stick to the two weeks. But here we are. Today I have a couple new starts to show y'all. I have a bunch of whips, bunch of plans, some haul. So um, if you would like to hang around for that, please do. So I have a couple of starts to show y'all. The first one I have is the Black Butterfly Sampler. I started this with a couple of the girlies for Bridgen's, I think two year floss tube anniversary. We all just wanted to start something in support of her. Um, I have decided to only do the side with the butterfly and I'm also not doing it in black. So uh, the color of floss I'm using is color and cotton. I love you, you idiot. It was, um, I believe the f in the February um, floss of the month. So, and I'm doing this on, I think, 16 count Ada from my stash. It might be 14 count, to be completely honest. Um, it's kind of, I would say, smoky white. It's kind of gray, but not quite gray, but not quite white. I can't really tell what color this fabric is. It looks different in every light. Um, so the fabric is this kind of minty, um, kind of sage green. We do have some variegation in there. And so far, so good. I'm really loving this. I worked on this for one day and got the border and started working on some of the bottom stems. So I'm really happy with the start I have on this. And you know, I always love starting things with my gals especially for my gals, so. The next start I have to show y'all is Flower Power by Ink Circles. I am doing this as my pride start for June. I am doing my own color conversion um, based off of the colors of the lesbian pride flag, which I'll put a picture in here and then I'll show the flosses that I used. If you're interested in that conversion, let me know. I did post it on Instagram though, so you can find it there or if you um, would like to know it, just let me know. So for this pattern, I'm kind of eyeballing it. I wanted to use all of the colors um, and kind of go by motif. So, oh, and I'm doing this on 16 count um, chalkboard black Ada. And this is where I've gotten, oh, it's so pretty. So I started off with like the dark orange and then this is the lightest orange on these corners, the medium orange on these four corners. And then I'm gonna branch out to the white and then the three purples. And so the dark purple will be on the outer edge of the, of the project. It looks so good. And I really, I, I'm just really blown away at how the pattern translates to the project. Um, Ink Circles has like several really good projects, um, but I've never been drawn to them. And so when I was looking for a pride start, I thought a monochromatic would be great and then I could just convert it to the colors I wanted. And so this kind of just worked out perfectly. I have a somewhat mapped out where everything's gonna go. So I'm really excited to see this grow and um, get all the colors in there. With ink circles, it is four quadrants of the same thing. So I'm thinking once I finish this, I might go here and just work on this top quadrant and fill that out and then work on the different quadrants so that I'm not getting bored stitching the same motif four times, uh, like back to back. So I'm really, really excited about that one. So the first whip I'm gonna show you guys is At The Easel, charted by Artisy. I'm doing this on 28 count um, Easy Grid Lugana, two over one tent stitch. So this is where I am now. 
I'm currently 16,712 stitches into this. Um, and that's 25%. Um, the plan is to finish out this row and then head down, do this one. And then I think from there, I'm going to move the Q snap down and then work on the bottom half. Love this so much. The next up I have to show y'all is the Greenhouse of Oddity Sal. This is by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. I'm telling you right now, way behind, you know. You know how it is. If you're new here, welcome. I'm behind. <laughs> so I am 1,072 stitches into this. Um, I haven't even finished the frame. I've done the top part. I need to put a crow here. I have come over here, done this. I was initially working down so that I could be ready for the first planting. Now we're on like three or four. And yeah, no. it's okay. I really just wanted to start this. I didn't have any intention of keeping up with the different releases because I just don't I have a lot going. So I did just want to get a good start on this. Uh, definitely not as good of a start as I'd wanted. But um, I'll pick this up and get caught up eventually. I know that this is on um, Feldspar by Picture This Plus. I think it might be a 32 count. I'd have to look it up, but it is Feldspar by Picture This Plus. The next whip I have to show you is Dreaming Miss Claus. This is a Barbara Anna Christmas pattern. And this was on Whipgo for May. Yeah, May. Um, so I don't think I've updated y'all on my progress. So, I think I started with just this little bit. So I've just been working my way over. Not too, not too worried about getting a bunch done on this. It is a Christmas pattern. Um, so I'm just trying to meet my whip go goal of seven days, which if you're new here, I don't put like a stitch count or a time amount on my days. It just means I have to pick it up for seven days at some point, even if that's 10 stitches, 100 stitches, you know, that's just, it's just so I can touch these projects without being stressed out um, and putting too much pressure on myself with Whip Go. So, it's really cute. It's really fun. I'm excited to have it done at some point. Um, this is on 20, no, 32 count Zweigart blue linen if I'm wrong I'll correct myself on the screen so there's that I think I have a couple more days to put into this I'm a little behind on it so I'll just have it at my desk and so um if I have a moment I'll pick it up and finish my goal on that the next up I have to show you is doom and gloom this is a project that is from creepy cross stitch I got this off Amazon, I believe. Um, let me find the cover photo for you. There it is. Just some cute little cats. Um, this was also May Whip Go to finish. And I have it. So, <laughs> I'm working on the border right now. I know that if I just sit down and do this, it won't take me very long. Um, but my priority priorities have just been elsewhere. So... That's where I am on that. Hopefully it will be a finish next time you see me. We'll see. That'll be the goal. <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I don't know what my goals are anymore. I really just, they're just wishes at this point. Last but not least, um, I have my Fruits of Plenty. This is Modern Folk Embroidery. I'm doing this on 32 count natural Belfast linen. Um, it, it, it does have sparkles in it, so that never picks up on camera, but there are sparkles. Before I show you, I am currently at 15,447 stitches, which is about 2,000 since you last saw me. So, I'm catching up, kind of. I'm trying. I'm really, really trying, y'all. Okay, so this is where it's at right now. Let me take this off. So, I have filled out this negative space section, brought this all the way down, and started working on this motif. And then that little bird. Oh, I love it. 
So my goal for this is 4,000 stitches of a month, but I'm behind on that. So at this point, I'm just doing as much as I can, um, attempting to get caught up. But again, this is a hobby and I really don't want to pressure myself and make it feel like a chore. So I pick it up and do what I can when I can. I did have a day where I put like over 800 stitches in it. So, I mean, I do enjoy it and it is gorgeous. So, um, that is the next installment of my Fruits of, Fruits of Plenty Chronicles. So, I'm going to jump into plans, which, as I've just stated, might turn into wishes. This section might turn into the wishes and the hopes. Um, but for real, I, um, I just love stitching and I love stitching all the things and so you know that can get hectic sometimes so these this is what I want and hope and wish to do um in the next couple of weeks so I do want to start another project on the 28th of this month it will be my um second wedding anniversary uh so I did buy a new pattern and fabric for that which I'll show y'all um, in the whole portion, but I will be doing the Rolodex morning sampler. Um, it's a bendy stitchy. Yeah, a bendy stitchy and it was like a collaborative, but anyway, I'll show that pattern in my haul. June Whipco pulls have been called. Um, one of my goals is to have Miss Solary lips for seven days which Miss Solary Lips is my Nora Corbett. It's a memorial piece for my cousin. And this will be our starting point. Ignore all this stuff, but I have a seven day goal on that. And then my other whip go pull for June is to stitch two sections of um, the floral motif sampler. So this is the final image. Um, I did my own little division. So I just got on my tablet and drew different sections. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know. Uh, this is the starting point. Don't have much. This was my birthday start last year. So I have 36 count ballet slipper. Yes, 36 count ballet slipper. So when I started this, I had never worked on 36 count before. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to do one or two strands of floss. And I had always just done two strands and loop start, all that stuff. Well, I am using the called for flosses in this, which are fancy floss. So I kind of feel like I need to redo that flower and just have them all over one over two. Uh, they're all gentle arts. These are so pretty. So like, I don't want the variegation to be lost doing two strands. So I might frog this flower and redo it. Or honestly, like it looks fine. I might go ahead and do the second set of petals with one strand and see if it looks stupid and then I will frog and redo that one but if you can't tell a big of a difference I'm not I might just leave it so I know I have to bring this down and there's like three um motifs the floral motifs to do for one section and then I have another section so if you're interested in seeing um the little graphic that has them split up let me know and I will show that to you. So my goals for at the easel, my full coverage and uh, the Fruits of Plenty are the same as they usually are. Even though I have my goals written down for the Fruits of Plenty to be 2,000 stitches in the next two weeks. Which I did before, so maybe I can do that again. Um, I think my goal for that is to just do the best I can, you know. Uh, for... At the easel, I have it set at 800 stitches, which is doable. I think if I just sit down and do it, that's 400 regular, like, full stitches because I do 10 stitch. So, that shouldn't be too hard. 
And then Doom and Gloom, I need to try and finish the frame. And then I think like the spider or start the shelf just to make some progress on that and uh, get close to a finish hopefully soon. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into haul. I have a couple things to show you guys. First, I have this beautiful bag by Sheba Designs. I'm absolutely blown away by all of, all of her bags. So, oh, as soon as I saw this, I had to have it. Like pink bugs, flowers, love it. And then we have just like the honeycomb. And then my other piece as a whole are in here, so. I have the Rolodex Morning Sampler that I talked about. Um, this will be my anniversary start on the 28th of this month. And I got this fabric to stitch it on. This is 16 Count Ada Spooky Hollow um, by Fabric Flare. Yeah, by Fabric Flare. Um, it wasn't this splotchy online, like on the photo online. Um, so at first I wasn't super sure about it, but I think it'll just look kind of spooky, you know. I don't know. We'll see. But that's the plan for that. And then I also bought a new full coverage pattern. But I saw this and I had to have it. Like I... Mm. So it is called... Woman in a Field of Flowers. This is art by Edda Rosa. Um, it's charted by Stitches So Beautiful. Um, here's the cover image here. I saw this around Instagram, like several people have fell in love with this. Um, but when I saw it, it reminded me of my cousin, which uh, she passed away last May unexpectedly. So, you know, that's really hard for, you know, me and my family. But I saw this and I immediately thought of her and I showed my mom and it's kind of the image of where we believe she is right now. Like, in just a beautiful field of flowers, the girl from the back kind of is reminiscent of her. So I got this pattern, I had to. So I think I'm gonna start it in August. Her birthday is August 19th. So I'm gonna be starting this in August to commemorate her birthday. And I mean, it'll take me forever and ever to finish, but I mean, that that's not a problem for me because I'll be thinking about her forever and ever. So um, I like, to stitch things that remind me of her and just take that time to think about the memories and think about her and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's Women in a Field of Flowers. If you've stuck around this long, thank you so very much for hanging out with me and spending some time with me today. Um, I'm gonna talk about some miscellaneous things and maybe books. So, so if you're not down to clown with that kind of stuff, then um, you won't miss any stitchy related stuff if you leave now. But thank you so much for, for sticking around for that long. And um, I'll see you in the next video. So in other crafty news, I did finish my first quilt top. I'll put a picture of it in here. Um, I know that I talked about the fabric packs that I got, which I mean, I feel like I kind of cheated because I got pre-cuts and then I just pieced them together. But I wanted to get, um, kind of the hang of it with like the quarter inch seam allowance and just stitch a bunch of pieces together, which I love it. I think it is really cute. I still have to quilt and bind it. So that'll be another adventure that I get to go on soon. Uh, but I'm really excited about it. It'll be a cute little addition to my room. And then um, my mid-year whip parade should be coming out either at the end of June or in the beginning of July. I wanna be able um, to make sure I have everything updated. So I might record it after I start Rolodex Morning Sampler, just so that's in my mid-year whip parade. Hey, my ring light went off and I don't know where I stopped. So, the angle's different, that's why, sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I think I was talking about my mid-year whip parade. So be looking out for that in probably the beginning of June, no, July, it is June. <laughs> Um, in the beginning of July. So if you're interested in watching that, I should be able to have that um, together for y'all. It is a process to like get everything 
together and record it but I just love to see how far I've come from you know December and like January whip parade to like mid-year and then how cool it'll be to compare this to the end of this year um I have already said that 2023 is my year of starts because it has been and I'm not gonna stop anytime soon <laughs> Um, I might have to rein it in next year, but for now, I am just, I'm just gonna embrace the craft, the hobby, and stitch everything I want to stitch, even if it's just for a few days, and then I'll get to it eventually, you know? Um, I'll never get bored, you know? So that's, that's a plus. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna skip book talk this week. I don't really have much to say. So, um... If I think of anything, then I will just add it on to next week's book talk. So we'll have a little bit of extras next week. I wanted to end the video today just saying happy pride to anyone who celebrates. And I want everyone out there to know that you are loved and cherished. And you're meant to be on this world the way that you are. I want to say happy pride to people who aren't out or it's not safe to be out. I see you and I wish you a happy pride. And you know what, I just, this month is a lot about, you know, perseverance and courage and love for me. So um, if you celebrate that, thank you. And thank you all for being here and supporting me and my channel. And um, yeah, I hope y'all have a good couple of weeks. I might be back in two weeks, might be back in three weeks. I don't know, we'll see, but I just, I'm really grateful for all of you and your continued support and everyone who comes back and watches me month after month. It's just, it's great. This whole process is just so rewarding. I love talking about the stuff that I love and getting to share that with everybody and getting to talk in the comments about what y'all are working on, what books you're reading, you know, what, what you've been up to. So uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what's going on with you. So y'all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever and whenever you're watching and I'll catch you next time.